this is a very unexpected vlog, but we just ate lunch at Be Our Guest, which is now a pre-fix menu here at Magic Kingdom. And I wanted to film for you what I ate, and then Mark and Callie went back to the room, so I thought, why not just turn this into a full day in Magic Kingdom vlog? So here we are. I'm pulling a Tim Tracker, which is a Disney World secret that behind Pete's Silly Sideshow, Big Top Souvenirs, kind of near like the Dumbo area, it's typically really quiet back here. So that's where I am filming, if you can hear the music in the background. And I just saw the water splash pad open for like the first time in maybe seven or eight years. Like it's literally never been open while Callie has been alive. It's been a long time since I've seen this open. I purchased these little beauties this morning to match my outfit, which I will insert a photo of Callie and I wearing here. So today is day one of Callie's surprise trip. There will be more coming for sure. We're going to be eating at Food and Wine. We are at Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party tomorrow night. So lots to come. Make sure you are subscribed. If you like this content where Disney World meets weight loss surgery and it's seasonal, I mean, these are all of my favorite things, please give this video a thumbs up so I know what kind of content you're into. Can we just take a moment for the earrings? I wore these in the packing video that I filmed, so I will leave that linked above, and you can see all of the pieces kind of in action in the vlogs, but if you wanna see how we packed and how we organized for this trip, make sure you check that one out. So this morning, we monorailed over from the Polynesian. That's where we're staying. Yes, you will likely already have seen the room tour of our studio space. And then we, for the first time ever, didn't have huge plans. We let Callie pick. It was supposed to be a three on the crowd calendar day, and I will say that it does feel more like a five or a six, but I think that's because people are congesting in similar attraction areas. We had an 1140 reservation at Be Our Guest, and I wanna tell you all about that meal. So our hesitancy with Be Our Guest is that now it's prefix. I used to love, I think it was a Madame Croque or a Croque Monsieur, that they had at Be Our Guest. We used to eat there for lunch almost every single time we came to the parks. But since they've changed it to prefix, we haven't really gone back because it is $62 for an adult meal. And as you know, I am likely not eating $62 worth of food. So while we were there, the whole question was, is this worth the money? After having been there, I'm gonna go with for grown-ups, it is. So I started with a potato and leek soup because it had black Topico caviar on the top. I didn't know I was gonna like it as much as I did. Mark and I did share some of his escargot. When I tell you that that escargot is life-changing, I'm not sure I'm even being dramatic enough. I ate two of them, but then I also took the tiny little crostinis of bread that it came with and like soaked up that pesto garlicky butter concoction. If I could bathe myself in that, I would. I would. It was definitely the highlight of the meal. I was a little disappointed because there was a white wine champagne flight that Mark and I wanted to share but they were out of both the champagne as well as the rosé. So I wasn't interested in like the Chardonnay and the heavier red that they offered. So we skipped that part, probably saved myself a nap this afternoon. I'm likely better off for it, but I figured if we're going to drink French wine, let's do it and be our guest. If you have the opportunity to try it or you have tried it, will you leave that in the comments below and let me know which selections you made and if you liked it. So I wanted to take it easy with the appetizers because I did order a filet mignon as my lunch. And yes, that is a super heavy lunch. However, I think I've shared in some of my vlogs before, particularly around eating red meat, that the softer and more tender the cut of that meat is, the easier it is for me to eat and digest and the happier my tummy is. So I went with a medium, I normally am a medium well kind of person. Mark got the same, he went with a medium rare. He preferred his, but I did eat about a quarter of what I received on the plate 
and I tried the asparagus. I ate many of the mushrooms on top with the sauce. They were delicious. I did not touch the potatoes. And the dessert trio was the gray stuff, and it was like a bigger, okay, that's too big. It was probably, okay, I'm just gonna show you the video, but it was probably like this big encased in chocolate, and it came with a little like white chocolate imprint with chip on it. There was a chocolate ball that I didn't touch, and a lemon macaron that I thought was going to be smaller or have less filling. It had like a cream filling and I expected it to have like a jelly type of filling. So I bit that, but I did open the gray stuff and kind of eat it out of the chocolate and then I gave the rest to Callie. If you are willing to give up an hour to an hour and a half of your time in Magic Kingdom, I would say at least try Be Our Guest. Um, I will show you clips of the menu so that you can see if there are options that you'd be interested in, but the appetizers alone were so hard to choose from. The French onion soup, the potato leek, which was new for me, and the escargot. I would recommend the escargot if that's something you've liked. I know I talked about this particular food item in a video. I think maybe the Bermuda What I Ate vlog is where I talked about escargot. This was definitely better. As for kiddos, Callie received a fruit and cheese plate as her appetizer. That's what she picked. It had a really nice cheddar, the white one particularly. She obviously picked mac and cheese, but it's homemade and you can taste that it's homemade. And then for dessert, she got this really cool, like decorate it yourself, edible paint macaron. She doesn't like macarons, but she did like the decorating. And it came with a white chip, a white chocolate chip figurine, not chocolate chip, but chip like I'm Mrs. Potts' child chip. And then she filled that with her gray stuff and then kind of picked off the rest of my plate. So it was a great lunch. The beast did come out. She did not like that. So that was interesting. She normally isn't afraid of characters in the parks, but she really did not like the fact that he was present in the West Wing, which is where we sat um, with the Enchanted Rose, which I thought was really cool. We've sat in there before, but it thunders the whole time. So if you have children who are afraid of really loud noises or thundering, I would maybe avoid the West Wing and ask for the ballroom where it snows magically or the library, which just has like the art on the wall and kind of Belle and the Beast dancing as if they're on top of a music box. Those two rooms are a lot quieter, less dark, less sensory issues. So yeah, that is my review of what I ate at Be Our Guest. I am satisfied but not full, so I'm really proud of myself that I didn't push it because sometimes post off in the parks, you do feel like you are missing out on experiences. So I didn't feel that way at all. I got to eat all of the bites. I made every single bite count. I probably could have done two less of the filet and given more of it to Mark, but he was a very happy camper. Super happy to acquiesce my issues of needing him to eat the rest of my lunch. Other thing I wanna to talk to you today about too is obviously I'm gonna show you all the decorations that they have up. I found Mickey wreaths. These are the old school ones that are still dispersed throughout the park. On my Instagram page at least, when Disney decorated for the fall and it was the Cinderella carriage pumpkins. Okay, so I happen to love these, but these are the controversial Cinderella pumpkin wreaths. I would love one for my home. People were furious that the Mickey ones weren't here. So they are here, they're just not out front when you walk in. And also, this is our first experience with Magic Band Plus. So I'll show you some of the interactions between the band and the golden statues. So let's go explore. Maybe we'll do some shopping. There will definitely be a merch haul coming. I brought literally my carry-on as well as a huge suitcase that I showed you in my packing video. The big suitcase is for things to come home. How exciting. Just a tip, if you are ever in need of like a quiet place to nurse a baby, to have a non-sensory kid calm down, this little area where they sometimes have character meet and greets like Chip and Dale are over here. This is nice, it's super shaded. Kiddos can take a nap. Plus look at the cute little fall decor. Look at all the cute treats inside Big Top Souvenir. I like the mini witch cupcake. Oh my gosh, so tempting.
Okay, so this is an example of like one of the golden statues. There's a Mickey and a Minnie, and my little guy here just vibrated. So when you get close, see? So when you get close enough and your watch is set on sensitive, they interact with you. I think one of my favorite parts of the decoration is all the bunting. It makes it feel like fall even though it is 90 degrees. Each of these pumpkins has something to do with being in Magic Kingdom. So it's kind of like a little fun scavenger hunt to figure out what is their role.